is a, an ambassador for the Raptors. I want you to make some noise for the number one team in the East, the greatest team in the land. He's our Jack Nicholson. You can go all over the world and, and they'll know who Drake is. And to have him there by the, by the court side, it gives you program street cred. Drake has been engaged throughout. Cavaliers were walking through towards locker room and Kendrick Perkins and Drake exchanged some pleasantries. What has Drake's role been in maybe building the identity of the Raptors as a basketball organization, as, as a place on the map in the NBA? Uh, you don't even know how passionate that guy is, you know, like it's in the blood, you know, like you can feel he's part of it in a great way. He's lifted us in more ways than you can even know. It's almost like an extension of their coaching staff here. Has he ever given you one good trade idea? He's given me a couple. They were impossible though. <laughs> When you arrived and Drake would be at your games, the Raptors weren't a contender, uh, you weren't winning big. Um, how did you view his role here? All I remember him always talking about Toronto and you know, um, to see him at games supporting us and, and even before we was who we are today, that was great because he always backed us. Yeah, thank you. So Kyle, uh, you had 36, five and uh, uh, six tonight. I just want to know, uh, what, what what props a performance like that? Season high? Um, you know, I, I watched a lot of Instagram. I seen you singing last night, so you know it kind of helped me out a little bit with some motivation. <laughs> the fans love him. The players love him. He always had that relationship with the city and with the fans. There's nothing else that Drake wants than Toronto to win. 